Hello and welcome to this demo on the solution for the practice test in the Kubernetes certification course. In this video, we will walk through the test for pods. So this is the uh, practice test environment. Once you click on the link, you will come to this page. So walk through the instructions provided and click Start Scenario when you're ready. Once you click Start Scenario, you will be in the terminal. Um, the terminal is to a master node in a Kubernetes cluster. At the top, you have the link for the quiz portal. So we'll click on the quiz portal link to open up the quiz portal. And here you have um, all the questions that you need to solve, all the questions and challenges that, uh, that are presented to you. Um, so we have a list of uh, about 12 to 13 questions available uh, and about one hour to solve uh, all the challenges. So we will start with uh, some of the information gathering uh, exercises. So the first question here is how many pods exist on the system in the current default namespace? So I go back to my terminal and I run the kube control get pods command and I see that there are no resources found. So that's zero. So we'll select the answer as zero. Okay, so that's correct. In the next question, um, we're asked to create a new pod with the nginx image. Now, we can do that in different ways. Um, you can either create a pod definition file and create a pod with the nginx image, or um, in this case, I'm just going to run the kube control run command and uh, create a deployment with the nginx image. This, in fact, creates a deployment. However, uh, the deployment in turn creates a pod with the image nginx. So uh, to answer the question, all you need to do is somehow create a, an image, a pod with the nginx image. So that's right. Um, the next question is how many pods exist on the system now? So I'm going to run the kube control get pods command. And I can see that uh, there's the nginx image that we just created. However, there are also a few other pods that are created as part of this question. So we'll count the number of pods. So that's one, two, three, four. Four is the answer. So I'm going to select four. Okay, so that's correct. Next, um, we're asked to find out the image used to create the new pods. So if you go back um, to the terminal, uh, we will now run the kube control describe pod command and specify the name of any one of those new pods. And this will give us detailed information about the pod. And under this, we can look at the container section and the image that is used is busybox. So busybox is the right answer. Next, um, which nodes are these pods placed on? So if you go back and um, run the command kube control get pods, but with the dash o wide option, it prints some additional columns. And here you can see that all the pods are on node 01. So node 1 is the answer to that question. Okay, now um, we're setting up uh, some changes. So a, a new pod is created, which is called as web app pod. And we're asked to find the number of containers in the web app pod. So if you look at this output here itself, you see that um, under the ready column, it says one slash two. And so that two indicates the total number of containers part of that pod. Um, you can also run the kube control describe pod command and look under the containers section and count the number of pods. So we have nginx and agent x. So there are two containers part of that pod. So two is the right answer. What images are used in the new web app pod? Um, so if you look under the same output, you see that there's nginx and there is agent x. So those are the two images used. nginx and agent x is the right answer. Okay, now what is the state of the container agent X in the pod web app? So if you look at the agent uh, section for agent X, you see that the state is waiting. So if you go back, it should be um, one of either error or waiting. So that's the right answer. Now, why do you think the container agent X in the pod web app is in the error state or in the waiting state? Um, so if you look at the reason right in the next line, it says image pullback off. And if you're not clear what that means, you can scroll down and look at the under the event section. And you see that it says fail to pull image agent X 
error response from daemon repository agent x not found. What that basically says is that there's no repository in Docker Hub called agent x or there's just no image with the name agent x. So the right answer is a Docker image with this name does not exist on Docker Hub. It should be Docker Hub. Uh, it's kind of truncated there. So that's the right answer. So what does the ready column in the output of the cube control get pods command indicate? Okay, so let's run the cube control get pods command. The ready column has two numbers separated by a slash. So it indicates, um, the second part indicates the total number of containers in the pod, and the first part indicates the total number of, uh, number of containers that are ready. So it's the containers that are ready and the containers total number of containers in the pod. So the answer is not the first one, not the second one, but it is the third one. Total running containers in pod and the total containers in pod. Now we are asked to delete the web app pod. So if you try to delete it, if you try to check the answer without deleting, it'll tell you that it's failed. So just to, to delete the pod run the cube control delete pod web app command and that should delete the pod. When you check again, that is successful. Now we are asked to create a new pod with the name Redis and with the image Redis123. Now you can create a pod using the pod definition file. Now if you're not sure about the format of the pod definition file, head over to the Kubernetes documentation page. Now this is one area that you must be, um, you must practice. Browsing through the Kubernetes documentation page, this is especially helpful if you are uh, preparing for the Kubernetes certification exam. So in the Kubernetes certification exam, you are given one tab uh, of your browser to access Kubernetes documentation. So you can only have one tab and um, you must walk through that single page um, at all times to find information. So you should know how to find uh, whatever you're looking for uh, in the, you can use the search button, so you should know what to search for. In this case, I'll just search for, search for pods, and I'll just select the first um, uh, result. If I walk through, I do not find a pod definition file, so it should be in the, in the other link, which is the pod overview section. And if you look under that, you can find the template. Um, so I'm gonna copy that. I don't need the last line because I'm not going to specify a command. So I'm just going to skip that. And I'll go back to my terminal and I'm going to create a pod definition file. I'll call it redispod.yaml. And I paste the contents here. And then I go in and edit the YAML file contents. Now, all I need is two, um, uh, two specifications. The name of the pod should be redis and um, the image name should be redis123. So I'm going to update the name to redis. Uh, I'm not asked to create any labels, so I, I'm just going to delete that. The container name could be Redis. Um, it doesn't really matter in this case, as it is not being checked. The image should be Redis123, so I'm going to update the image to Redis123. Okay, so I'm going, now going to save that file, and I will now create the pod using the kube control create command. Um, the pod Redis is created. I'm going to check my work and it's good. Now, um, the Redis 123 was not a good image as you might have noticed. So the next task is to fix it. So here what we're trying to um, do is given a pod, given an existing pod, how do you edit um, values in it? So uh, in the current pod, we have an incorrect image that's being used. So we're asked to fix it. There are different ways to do it. You can either update the file uh, with the right uh, image name and then use the cube control apply command, or you could delete the pod and recreate it. Um, or you could simply use the cube control edit pod command. So we'll we'll do that now. We'll use the cube control edit pod redis command. And what this does is it opens up a a VI editor instance with uh, the file that has the pod definition. Now, this is not the file that we created. This is a file that was generated by Kubernetes 
in the background and it, it gives you access, it, it just gave you access to the uh, pod definition file used internally by Kubernetes. Um, and so you can see that there are a lot of additional fields in it, like the create timestamp, uh, resource version, etc. So these are fields that were created automatically by Kubernetes internally. Now, all we need to do is um, uh, make the changes that we were asked to make. In this case, uh, we'll just go over to the Redis uh, image name and update the image name to remove the extra one, two, three. Okay, and then you can just save the file as you normally would. And so uh, that basically has updated the uh, pod with the Redis image. So when you now run the cube control get pods command, you can see that the Redis pod is in a running state. If you describe the pod to view the image, um, you will see that the image name is Redis. So that's good. So we're gonna check the work now. Okay, perfect, so that's done. So in this um, coding exercise, um, so if you've practiced viewing information about existing pods, a little bit of troubleshooting, identifying why a pod is in a failed state, um, going through the events and uh, trying to fi uh, figure out what uh, could be the problem. We also looked at editing uh, an existing pod um, or creating a new pod given a set of specifications. Now remember, these uh, validation functions that, that were run, like when you run the, when you click on the check button and it checked, the, it checked your work and immediately gave you feedback. Now this is something that we have developed custom to, to give you a better experience. And so don't expect that in the actual exam. Uh, so you should know how to do a quick verification of your work yourself. So uh, once you create a pod, uh, you should go back and run a cube control describe pod command and check and make sure that it is named the right uh, with the right name, it uses the right image, etc. Well, uh, once you complete uh, the quiz, uh, remember to rate uh, the lab environment. So how your experience was, uh, what was the level of difficulty. Now I know that this is uh, these are easy labs, but we're also working on additional labs that would be a bit more difficult. And also, please remember to provide any feedback or suggestions. Well, that's it for this demo. Thank you so much, and uh, I will see you in the next lecture. <laughs>